Hey there, collectives, <clears throat> and welcome back for another general love reading. It is for whoever it's supposed to be for. So only take the part that fits and disregard the rest. It is a general. If it does resonate, then I invite you to please like, share, and subscribe. So I'm getting that somebody may be putting the children before their spouse. It's like somebody feels like it's all about the children. It's like they say, God dang, you spend more time with the kids than you do with me. What's really going on? I feel like someone is feeling like they're being pushed out of, off their throne, so to speak, off of their position. It's like they're being undermined here or manipulated. It's almost like they're being tag teamed on. It's almost like someone feels like they don't have no alone time. They, they haven't been doing anything together. You got a husband here who is feeling left out. <clears throat> Once again, I feel like there is no quality time. You got date night, but that's in the reverse. And I feel like it's about this partnership here. You got partnership. You got partner, but it's in the reverse. So it's like it's like somebody's relationship seem like they're they're pulling apart. They're being divided here. They're being pulled apart. See there, it's no real partnership because there's no alone time. I see that, but I also see because you got a child in the reverse. Somebody could be finding out these husbands. Look, y'all. <laughs> y'all, these husbands could be finding out that these children are not theirs, too. Love child. They thought it was a love child. Then you got abandonment in the reverse, as well as walking away in the reverse. Somebody's not able to let go of something, even though it ain't healthy. I feel like somebody's like, to get you and them kids, okay? See, someone is trying to come out of the, 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 the illusions here. Somebody was full of illusions and uh, fantasies. Somebody need to cleanse themselves here. Release, see? You got cleanse in the reverse, and you got release in the upright. See? So some type of toxic marriage. That's what's going on, y'all. Somebody's trying to release themselves from the illusions of this relationship. Like I said, for, some, for somebody, it could be somebody here realizing that the child is not mine and they're trying to walk away from it, but it's going to be hard because they probably love this child as if it is there. We're going to find out. So you got cleanse in the, in the uh, upright, release in the upright, and you got marriage in the reverse. And underneath the bottom, you got dreams and illusions. I feel like this is somebody was under illusion. Somebody feels like eh, this is a nightmare and can I wake up? I mean, this can't be happening here. It's almost like somebody done totally lost the passion. It could have been something that happened where somebody had a, a karmic a outside date night with somebody. Somebody may have allowed a third party into their marriage by stepping out and as a result, someone may have had a child. Y'all, that's what I see. Shoot. But I know you got the husband in the upright, <laughs> so it ain't the husband's fault. You got the marriage in the reverse, so it's something about this connection here. But somebody's having a hard time walking away because I feel like they don't want to hurt the child. I feel like they're over the partner, but it's the child that I feel like they're having a hard time releasing because, like I say, the child is the... <laughs> it's like the child the one that's going to be messed up now. This is going to be one of the things that I'm going to be talking about in my, on my new channel. It's all things, all about the love, or all things love, something like that. All about the love. About these relationships, it's like these men, you, I've been seeing a lot of TikTok here, and it's like since, since the flood of social media and all of those platforms, people are able to get their story told and their story heard. And, get something off of their chest because it is kind of therapeutic when you can, you know, uh, share your story, your testimony, release it because sometimes you don't have anyone to talk to. And then sometimes these men are telling it because they're, they, <laughs> they because it's so, it's so devastating, they just got to talk about it. 
Now, I do feel like some of this is just, you know how they get on, on, on the train and everybody want to, you know, try to make a view or click or whatever, but I feel like that's what's going on. These husbands are finding out that these children ain't theirs, but they find themselves kind of stuck because they've grown to love the child, but they don't love their parent. They don't love the partner no more. And you know, as long as you know, if they continue to stay in their relationship, it's just going to become more and more toxic here, ain't it? It's like, how you going to look at their partner the same? How you going to look at their child the same? And I know the child ain't got no, nothing to do with it. And I ain't, look, y'all, I'm not, I'm not picking at nobody. But once again, somebody's feeling like they've been done wrong. And what do they do? Seven of swords, nine of swords. It could be, I don't think it's the husband because the husband is in the upright. Seven of Swords, the Nine of Swords. There's a lot of anxiety. There's a lot of worry. There's a lot of stress because somebody know that they've been wrong. Somebody feel like they've been done wrong because of a third party. See, now, now they feel like they're going to be financially obligated to take care of something that, that, that is not theirs. Somebody could have had a love child outside their marriage, y'all. That's what it seemed like, or somebody finding out. And I'm going to call it a love child because the child represents love. It's a gift. It ain't the child's fault. It's the person here who didn't want to be in a relationship or got caught slipping. Why is date night here for the collective? What's this about? Date night is in the reverse. <clears throat> that could have been the last date that somebody take, god dang it. <laughs> like... But you know what it's telling you? It's telling you that not only are people stepping outside of their relationships, their main relationship, their marriage, they're standing out, they're stepping out unprotected. Ain't that something? Because if you protect it, you won't have to worry about that. They go to five of wands here. Somebody may have been listening to their gossiping homegirls. I feel like some homegirls, some messy homegirls, talk somebody into stepping outside their marriage. Wow. See? Wow. Listening to the wrong folk. It's almost like somebody had a husband at home, but they kept on hanging with those messy homegirls that ain't got no husband. Mm. You know how the homegirls is always trying to get you to go out and stuff? Huh? Date night, always trying to get you to hang out, but you married, you, things ain't the same. Ooh. Feel like some, see, somebody was out here acting like they were single. They the ones disrupted the harmony in their own household because somebody was still trying to, and like I said, it's a feminine, And while they was out there in the streets, lo and behold, they done hooked up with somebody else, see? The lovers in the reverse, and I feel like it produced a child. Page of Wands, wow. What's up with this partner? Wow. I feel like somebody started listening to their, their, uh, their, their single, independent homies and I feel like these are feminines somebody was listening to their homegirls tell them you know come on hang out with us you know helping them mess up could have been somebody here who was jealous ain't that something somebody could have listened to their jealous homegirls who ain't got nobody but here they is got a whole husband but they listen to their toxic, jealous homegirls, and somebody may have lost something listening to they. And little do they know that homegirls was really wasn't their friends anyway. Now you got partner in the reverse. I feel like somebody made a bad a bad call, and it cost them everything. And I I don't see no regret here, but I'm just feeling somebody feel full of regret. It could also represent that this is them knowing that they did this to their husband. See? Yeah, they worried now because everything's going to come out or they worried that they're going to find out. I feel like, I feel like, <laughs> it's like there's nothing too hidden that won't be revealed. Everything that you do is going to come out eventually. It's going to come out, but this, this ended all right here based on this. 
see this and that, see? Somebody did the ultimate betrayal to their husband. Listen to the old toxic single home girls. <laughs> That's what I'm getting here. Always going out. There's somebody here who stayed out too, too much for somebody here who had a husband. And if they would have took heed, see the fool card in the reverse. Somebody threw caution to the wind. Somebody, somebody risked, somebody risked their whole marriage. Two of Pentacles and the devil, see? They just couldn't resist. See there, Temp some temptation got somebody messed up. See there, now they ain't ready to go. See, somebody looked and turned on them because they made some bad choices here. And this is a type of bad choice. Now, anything can be repaired and mended. I'm gonna say that. I do believe in that, but I feel like for this sense, sense this ain't gonna, this, you, you, it's like somebody did too much. Not only was they out here unprotected and living scandals, hanging out all night, date night, hanging out with the homegirls, because the homegirls ain't got no man at home. You got a whole husband at home. It's like somebody said they can't, they can't spend time with their partner because they're too busy having date nights with the homegirls here. And as a result, somebody had a child. Why is the child in the reverse? Now they worry because now they know that their money finna stop and something, something finna happen. You got the two of pentacles. <clears throat> well, they, they're worried about losing it because like it says, it says cleanse and release this toxic marriage is what it's telling somebody. But like I said, I feel like somebody's having a hard time abandoning and walking away from this kid, because it ain't the kid's fault, but they can't stand their partner, and they don't want to give their partner no false hope by lingering around too long. But like I say, the more that they look at the partner, the more that they look at the child, they're going to be triggered. See? This is somebody here who probably wanted children, too. Maybe they're going to be it. No. See? There it is, y'all. Somebody gone. They done found out. Child in the reverse. You got the emperor. Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. And the queen of Pentacles in the reverse. There go that marriage right there. You got the husband and the wife right here. See? Husband and the wife. See? The wife didn't want to act like no wife. They was out here in the streets. See? See? I just keep seeing it. See? Listening to the home girls. Hanging out when they shouldn't have been. Date night in the reverse. See? Could have been jealous. Five of Wands and the lover. See? So now they didn't took all the harmony out of the relationship. The relationship ain't the same now because of a child. Wow. I feel like this emperor wants to do the best thing. I feel like they want to use their logic and their wisdom to handle this wisely. But I feel like someone is just dealing with a lot of the lies, see? It's just a lot of lies been told. They don't, this person don't believe that their child is theirs. They questioning everything now. They say, well, God dang, if you lied about this, what else did you lie about? See, there it is. There it is. There it is, see? Somebody could have been dating somebody, and try, but this is a marriage now. This is a marriage. See, they finding out. That baby ain't theirs. See, the secrets is coming out. The secrets is coming out about the lies that have been told with this ace of swords and this page of swords. Somebody thought that they was covering their tracks, but they wasn't. It's coming out anyway. Mm. Now, what's this abandonment here? Wow. Somebody wanted to be single out here, or they was hanging with the wrong crowd, y'all. They didn't want. They didn't want to be married. They didn't want the obligations of marriage, but they end up getting stuck anyway. But they end up getting stuck with something that that ain't good. Abandonment. Why is abandonment here in the reverse? I feel like somebody's trying to do the right thing, but I feel like it's hard. Now, they may continue to do for the child, see? 
the magician and the five of cups see it is hard somebody's having a hard time walking away from this see this was somebody's perfect see somebody was under dreams and illusions this was their perfect idea connection, but what they found out is somebody had a woman, a feminine that was for the streets. <laughs> uh, unprotected at that, okay? See, somebody didn't protect themselves. See, you got the seven of wands in the reverse. They, they risked it all from, from walking away. Somebody said, it is, this is a hard pill to swallow. That's why you got walking away in the reverse, because I feel like they don't want to abandon the child, but they can't stand it. It's, it's like triggers. See, nine of wands, this is somebody here who has been through it, but they're still trying to be, do the right thing. This person, I feel like this person's trying to be logical. They're trying to make the right decisions. hard for them to walk away. <clears throat> but I feel like somebody feels like they've been taking care of, somebody could have already been taking care of a child that wasn't theirs. That's why it's hard to walk away. It ain't because they finding out this person is with child. It's in the reverse. It ain't nothing new. They put in time. But I feel like something has come, came out. See, like I say, they're having a hard time moving on. They, but Spirit is already telling somebody to release this. But they're having a hard time because there's a child involved, y'all. And they've been taking care of that child as if it was theirs. It's just like it is their child. I guess they could do it. You got the emperor here. Like I say, this person loves this child because they thought it was their child. It's the mama. It's the parent that they, ain't, they don't want no more. So how you gonna do that? See, seven of pentacles, this person looking at all this money that they didn't spent, all the time they didn't invest it into this child, it's hard for them to walk away. But they don't wanna deal with this one. They don't wanna deal with, with this marriage no more. All right, cleanse, why is cleanse here? Mm. So y'all, what I've been seeing a lot of these women is just scandalous out here now. <laughs> See, you they ain't got no choice now. It's gonna come a time where it's gonna be so toxic that you gotta walk away. See, cause like I say, somebody been trying to not walk away. But Spirit is telling somebody, yeah, I know your heart in it and all those things like that, but think about yourself. See? And they go to tower, it's still hard for them though. That's, that's the realization that came into this person. But I feel like this person needs to cleanse, but this, this, this is a hard, this is a hard one. Because the love that they have that they may want to show this child is, that's not their child, y'all. And it's like, it could be their child, but how this person don't know that they're still dealing with somebody else? They, they, they're probably still dealing with the other person anyway. I mean, it's like they're a fool at this point. Somebody was with a karmic that was for the streets, y'all. I'm telling you. And this a feminine. You got the queen of wands and the queen of... You can look, you got all the queens in the reverse. So like I said, you already know what, what type of... This was somebody who didn't care about nothing. Or no one but themselves. Somebody probably thought they had a dummy. But that, that type of energy gets you hurt, too. So that's why Spirit's probably telling somebody, you need to go on and walk away from this. This, this, this can't end good. That's why you got marriage in the reverse. Spirit is already saying your relationship is already over. So you holding on to something that's going to push you to the edge. Cleanse. That tower card going to clean it up, though. It's going to bring it all down. Now you can rebuild your life. Start over somewhere else and start preparing them to make amends. That's the only thing I can see. See? That somebody realizing some look, they go to Queen. Look, look You see how the Queen's coming out in the reverse? God dang. 
toxic energy. I feel like somebody's trying to get their emotions out of it, but it's, it's hard because their love was real. See, it's hard for them to leave somebody out, but I feel like it's the, because if you could get the, it's almost like somebody parted all the time. Somebody somebody probably provided them a nice home, everything that they needed. They made it too easy for somebody that wasn't ready for this type of lifestyle, okay? They wasn't ready to build. They were out here acting reckless like they were single anyway. So it's almost like you can't make, you know, a, a housewife. But I feel like once again, somebody did. And now somebody's realized that they person ain't never got out the streets. And now it's telling off on them with this child. But somebody's going to have to leave it, leave it behind. Or somebody's looking at all the money that, that they done lost. Or that they're going to lose because they, because this child got their last name. All right, you got released because it's a marriage. Why is release here? Wow, imagine that, because it's like the child got to, to spend a suffer. To get the adults, because the adults are at least in their right mind where they can make the right choice, but the child ain't got, they ain't got no say so. See, release, knight of swords. I feel like spirit is saying you already know what happened. You ain't no need of you holding on to it because it's just gonna dig you. It's like why it's, it's like on spirit's telling, asking some masculines, why are you, why do you keep sacrificing yourself? Because that's what you're doing. You're sacrificing your feelings. And I know it ain't fair. I know this type of situation ain't fair. It's hard. But at the same time, you know it's going to trigger you. See? Somebody lost their family. Justice. See? Spirit's telling somebody to let it go and free yourself. Could be a Libra. Now you got marriage. Somebody's still holding on to the fact that they had a family until somebody made a bad call, a bad judgment call. But somebody, I feel like somebody's always been living like that. I feel like it just got to the point where somebody needs to realize who they were dealing with. They really wasn't in no honest connection here. Excuse me. It's like they were, it's almost like they could have, the husband could have been all in, but the wife wasn't, wasn't. They was all, they was for themselves. They were living reckless. They were only thinking about them and what they could get done for themselves. And I feel like that's kind of like their karma. That's how they got that child. But it's, it's bad, too, because the child is not the child's fault. All right, marriage in the reverse. See? It's because of a child. There it is. Page of cups, see? <laughs> That's why that marriage finna end, cause the lies, the secrets then came out, see? That's why Spirit's saying you gotta let it go. You already know what it is. And I don't care how much you wanna do the right thing, Spirit's telling somebody you gotta let that go. Cause that could get messy, especially when this person not respecting you. I feel like somebody's spouse don't respect them. So they probably telling the child that they got, see? There it is. Ace of Cups in the reverse, somebody thought that this was their child. They thought that they had a blessing. But what they finding out is somebody else's child. See, somebody messed up the whole family. Now, there it is. Because they would not slow down. See? They put their feminine again. See, the, the feminine is destroying these. The feminine is wrecking these homes. See? It's like it's over. Eight of cups. Somebody's going to eventually walk away. I feel like that's what Spirit is telling these masculines. Let it go. I feel like these masculines have to do a lot of soul searching because they don't want to be looking like a jerk. And not only that, they fell in love with these children. They, they, they daddy, you got the emperor, you got the emperor and the empress, but they was dealing with karmics here. See? Of course they, they, they want to do the right thing, but they look who they're dealing with. They don't have no choice in this situation because the only thing it's going to do is trigger them. See, somebody, somebody wasn't for real about this. All this time they invested just for somebody to end up getting broke down. So that's what this message is for these masculines. If you find out that the child is not yours, I don't care how much you love that child, you're going to have to let it go. All right, y'all, this is a general. Please like, share, and subscribe.